Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you some really cool data visualization techniques within Excel. So if you want to do stuff like this, or stuff like this, then stick around till the end because I'm going to show you exactly how to do it along with so much more. Okay, so item one, I've got this data of sales performance from 2018 to 2022 across these different companies. And I want to show the trend year on year for each company. There's one way you can do this very simply, and that is by firstly selecting on the cell where you want the trend line to show. So in this case, it's H3, then going on insert, and then going on spark lines and pressing this line button here. Press that, then select your date range, data range, sorry. So that would be for pair 2018 to 2022, press OK. And there you have your line and simply drag it down. And there you have the performance for each and every company. Another way to show your data is in a bar trend format. So firstly, select the cell where you want the bar to be displayed, then go on insert and then under spark lines, select column, then select the data range and hit enter and then simply drag it down for all the different data points. And as you can see, the first company here, there's an upward trend. This one is a downward trend, and this one is fairly up and down. Right, another cool thing you can do on Excel is create a heat map, which will visually show the numbers which are best performing and those which are worst performing. You simply do that by selecting your data range, which is here, then going on home and then conditional formatting and then going on color scales and selecting the color scale you want. So in this case, I want green, amber, and red. So once you press that, you will see a representation of the best performing companies in years. So this is a dark green. And then you'll also have the worst performing, which are those in red. Another way we can better represent data is by adding icons to your data set. And the way you do that is by again, selecting your data range, going on home, conditional formatting and pressing icon sets. And now you can pick the ones you want. You can go with arrows, you can go with dots. Let's go with arrows to make it simple. And what this is showing me is the green arrows which are pointing upwards are the best performing companies and years. And the arrows which are pointing down in red, yep, you've guessed it. Those are the worst performing companies. Another thing I wanna show you is how to create data bars within your data set. So this is very simple to do. All you need to do is select your data, go on conditional formatting, go on data bars and select the color of your choice. Green's always a good one. And as you can see, your data is now represented in a bar chart format. The highest bars of course are the best performing companies and the lowest bars are the worst performing. Another cool thing you can do is slice your data in terms of showing the best performers but also showing the worst performers. So the way you can do that is by firstly selecting your data, going on conditional formatting, and now I'm gonna go on top and bottom rules. I wanna show the top 10% of companies and I want that to be green. So that will show me the best performing companies or the top 10%. But now I also wanna highlight the bottom 10%. So again, select the data, go on conditional formatting, top and bottom rules and go in bottom 10% and I want that to be in red. So there you have it, you've got the top performing in green and you've also got the worst performing in red. Another way you can slice your data is by highlighting the numbers which are greater than or less than a specific number. So let me show you how to do this. You select the data once again, go on conditional formatting, and then this time go on cell rules. And now we're gonna go on greater than. So I want figures which are, let's say greater than, 60,000 pound and I want that to be in green. Equally, I want to also show figures which are lower than 20,000. So again, select your data, go on conditional formatting, cell rules, less than, let's go with 20,000. And there you have highlighted the figures which are higher than the figure you want, but also lower than the figure you want as well. 